This podcast was made with a virtual voice. Today, let's board my imaginary boat, heading to the old Market Square to observe these ruins located between the Joan of Arc Church and the Crown Restaurant. Who has never asked what these ruins were for? Well, the answer to this question requires us to go back through time. The very first official traces of the presence of a church in this place date from the 11th century. And more precisely, from 1060, thanks to a past act, between the Duke of Normandy, the future William, Conqueror, and the Archbishop of Rouen, Morillet. Some suppose that its style is Romanesque, and that its construction dates back to the beginnings of Christianity, but this remains only a hypothesis. Subsequently, the church underwent an eventful life. Probably destroyed by a fire in 1225, it was rebuilt in the second half of the 15th century, and then again in the 16th century after having been devastated by the Huguenots in 1562 in the part of what is called the Fury of the Calvinists. During the 18th century, despite significant renovations, its demolition was planned as part of the construction of a new town hall. Shortly before the French Revolution of 1789, the church fell into ruins and was sold in 1793 for complete demolition, which took place two years later. Today, the stones that are visible correspond to the foundations of the Saint Sauveur Church. For the record, between 1793 and 1795, the Saint Sauveur Church served as a saltpeter factory. There you go. Now you know the story behind these ruins. If you are on the old market square, I invite you to discover the very pretty Joan of Arc Church, particularly thanks to its steined glass windows.